Billy here. I want to run down memory lane with people my age, grew up in the 60s and 70s. See if you can recall who this is. Damn it, Jim. I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer, or whatever profession you choose. We all quickly recognized Dr. Leonard McCoy from Star Trek as he was yelling at Kirk for something he was supposed to do or was told to do and couldn't do it anyway. I bring this up for a couple reasons in this short little video because I want to reference your health. The first being those of us who are doctors and have dreams about having Dr. McCoy's tools of his trade in his time. We all wish in my profession we could just take a little divider and a little device and beep it around you and know what's going on. The medical scanners, the flashing lights, the classical whirling sound from the old show. It's just something we all wish we had. The diagnosis was quick, to the point, and always accurate. I bring that up because I'm having many people my age and older, as we walk down memory lane, looking at technology and saying, are we coming there? Is this almost here? There's a lot that say, a lot of people out there that say we are in the form of artificial intelligence or AI. Researchers are working on this capability with several different systems I've seen. They're developing healthcare systems driven by AI that work to find patients with more acute needs versus not so acute needs. The goal, of course, is to save the almighty dollar. These supercomputers are using are taking input from people about symptoms, and then the computers ask questions in regards to those that input and tries to narrow it down or come up with an answer for the person. While it may be as close as we're getting to Dr. McCoy's medical scanner, it's far from advantageous in real life concerns and problems. It removes the human component. Certainly flawed in the microscope, the human component of the doctor-patient relationship can never be duplicated by a computer or AI. We're finding that out now with all the telemedicine going on. It's three times the work for me to do a telehealth conference than it is to see a person in person. The physical, psychological, physiological manifestations of being alive, such as stress, can never be understood by a computer system or really felt over a TV or a computer monitor. 85% of disease has a stress component. 85% of disease has a stress component. How does a computer understand that? How do we feel that through a computer screen or an iPhone? AI does nothing but potentiate our current problem tenfold in my opinion, treating symptoms without finding and then fixing the cause. Super intelligent bandages fall off just like regular ones do. Dr. McCoy's medical scanner is farther away now for all of us that grew up in the 60s and 70s as it was then. Nothing can compare with human interaction. Had the show Star Trek lasted this long, I think Dr. McCoy would have said today, talking to Captain Kirk, damn it, Jim, I'm a real doctor, not Dr. Google.